Imagine a place where dread was born, the very first fortress of fear crafted by human hands. Welcome to the harrowing narrative of Dachau, the Nazis' inaugural house of horrors and a grim marker of the Third Reich's horrifying ascent. On a fateful day, January 30, 1933, Adolf Hitler rose to power, marking the dawn of darkness. The Nazis, with their twisted ideology, unleashed an era of shadows across Germany, wielding fear, force, and oppression as their weapons. This is the tale of how a reign of terror was forged, crushing hope and humanity to claim absolute dominion. In March 1933, under a shadow just outside Munich, Dachau emerged as the harbinger of doom. This first Nazi concentration camp set the stage for unspeakable future atrocities. By the 22nd of March, it opened its gates not to criminals, but to the courageous. German communists, social democrats, trade unionists, and those who dared defy the Nazi regime. It was a place where to speak, to dissent, to resist, was to be marked for the darkness of Dachau. Initially a cage for 5,000 souls, Dachau's shadows soon stretched far beyond, swelling as the Nazi terror tightened its grasp. This camp morphed into the very emblem of brutality, a realm where horror and human agony knew no bounds, a chilling testament to the darkest depths of oppression. By 1937, the shadow of Dachau deepened as the SS, Hitler's dread legion, commandeered prisoner hands to forge a sprawling bastion of terror. By mid-August 1938, this grim fortress stood complete, its ominous silhouette unchanged till war's end in 1945, a monument to forced toil and the unyielding specter of despair. Under the Third Reich's cold gaze, Dachau, the inaugural Nazi concentration camp, grew from a seat of malice into a fortress of fear. A chilling emblem of unchecked power and flourishing hatred, it stood as a grim testament to the brutality of the Nazi regime, a stark reminder of the abyss into which humanity can plunge when darkness reigns supreme. Picture a realm engineered for fear, its very foundations swelling with the capacity for nightmares. Dachau, a name that echoes with dread, morphed into a towering beacon of fear in 1937. Directed by the sinister SS, prisoners toiled to erect a vast complex, a labyrinth of despair, on the camp's cursed grounds. By mid-August 1938, this fortress of terror was complete, its ominous blueprint unaltered until 1945's end. As Dachau's shadows grew, so did its captive souls. In the wake of Kristallnacht's fury, where Jewish lives and legacies were shattered by Nazi terror, close to 11,000 Jewish men found themselves ensnared within Dachau's chilling embrace. Dachau's grounds, once a singular realm of dread, fragmented into 32 chambers of despair, each marked by a dark purpose. Among them, one stood as a silent sanctuary for clergy who braved defiance against the Nazis. Another, a sinister laboratory for medical horrors. A stark monument to the relentless, twisted ambition of a regime cloaked in terror. As the shadows of the Second World War enveloped September 1939, the already grim existence in Dachau spiraled into deeper darkness. As the world outside battled fiercely, Dachau's echo of despair grew louder, with living conditions plummeting into dire straits. Barracks meant for 200 became cages for over 1,600, each soul a stark embodiment of resilience amidst the unimaginable. This was not just overcrowding, it was a harrowing measure of survival against the backdrop of escalating chaos. Dachau's metamorphosis was a dark dance of despair, not merely in its walls but in the minds ensnared within, a chilling shift both seen and unseen. Dachau evolved beyond mere encampment, morphing into a sinister beacon of Nazi oppression and annihilation. Here, humanity was not merely eroded, but grotesquely distorted and leveraged in the most barbaric of methods. The shadow of Dachau grew darker with each passing year of the war. From its origins as the Nazis' inaugural chamber of horrors, through its sprawling growth and the surge of captives, Dachau mirrored the swelling dread of Hitler's reign. As battles raged, the sinister shadow of Dachau stretched further, casting a longer darkness. How deep does the well of human cruelty truly run? Brace yourself for a journey into the darkest recesses of the human psyche. Dachau stands as a chilling testament to the depths of human depravity, where fear reigned supreme and darkness knew no bounds. In the chilling year of 1942, a haunting addition emerged beside the main camp, the ominous silhouette of a crematorium, casting shadows of fear across the grounds. 
a chilling upgrade to the camp housing both the old and new crematoriums, the latter equipped with a sinister gas chamber, an ominous reminder of the depths of human cruelty. Over 2,500 souls met their horrifying end within the gas chambers of Hartheim, a harrowing euthanasia hub nestled near Linz, Austria, a chilling testament to the darkest depths of human cruelty. In Dachau's shadowy confines, thousands met their grim fate, among them over 4,000 Soviet prisoners captured in the brutal wake of the 1941 invasion, a chilling reminder of the horrors endured within those barbed wire walls. And the cruelty persisted, a relentless force that refused to yield. From 1942 onwards, German physicians unleashed a reign of terror, conducting unspeakable medical experiments on the helpless prisoners, a haunting chapter in the annals of human suffering. From pushing the boundaries of endurance to barbaric surgeries, these experiments plunged victims into depths of agony, their screams unheard in the halls of horror. Humanity stripped bare, reduced to mere lab rats in the twisted game of science gone awry. As Dachau's grip tightened, the Nazi regime sprawled its tentacles, birthing satellite camps, a spreading web of fear and oppression. Nestled close to armaments factories in southern Germany, these satellite camps served as sinister cogs in the war machine, fear-fueled hubs driving relentless production. Thousands toiled until their last breath, sacrificed on the altar of war, their existence swallowed by the insatiable hunger for power. At the heart of the horror, conditions spiraled into darkness with alarming speed. In the suffocating grasp of overcrowding, more than 30,000 souls languished, a sea of fear and despair swelling within the camp's confines. In a cruel twist of fate, barracks meant for a few held an unbearable weight, overcrowded, bursting at the seams with fear and despair. Cramped confines, dwindling rations, and scant medical aid converged in a nightmarish spike in fatalities, a grim tally rising in the shadows. Among the chilling count of 41 1,500 souls claimed by darkness between 1933 and 1945, a staggering one-third were swallowed in the war's final six-month maelstrom, a grim crescendo of despair. Amidst this vortex of cruelty, the faintest whisper of justice becomes a beacon of fervent hope. Unveiling the shadows, amidst the liberation's glow, Dachau's echoes resonate with controversy and carnage. Plunging into the abyss, humanity's darkest depths unleashed in this chilling tale of history's grim unfolding. When oppression collides, unveiling the terrifying confrontation of the oppressed and their tormentors. Desperate shadows, SS evacuation unleashes nightmarish exodus from Dachau's depths, a harrowing tale of fear and tragedy. Fear's last stand, justice closes in as liberators storm Dachau's gates, unveiling an abandoned citadel of horror. Echoes of terror, American soldiers confront unthinkable horrors within Dachau's walls, where silence speaks louder than screams. Reckoning of retribution, in a heartbeat's fury, prisoners turn the tables, unleashing fear's fierce justice on their captors. Shadows of vengeance, amid uncertainty, the echoes of fear reverberate as liberated souls claim justice, with 30 to 50 SS guards meeting their final hour. Redefining retribution, in a twist of fate, fear's reign shifts as oppressed rise, turning tormentors into the hunted. Tremors of truth, Dachau's echoes reverberate with the arrival of justice, unveiling fear's final hour. When justice wavers, the terrifying tango of revenge creeps in, blurring the boundaries of fear and retribution. Following Dachau's liberation, a storm of controversy brewed, igniting ongoing disputes among historians and ethicists. The tables turned dramatically as Nazi guards, once the oppressors, faced the wrath of their liberators. Chaos reigned, blurring lines between justice and vengeance as guards met their end in a tempest of retribution. The fog of retribution at Dachau cloaks the true toll among the guards, fueling the flames of controversy. Amidst the upheaval, the shadowy figures of 30 to 50 guards vanished into eternity, their fates sealed in a burst of vengeance. Numbers uncertain, but the echoes of their end, unmistakable. Yet the heart of the controversy pulses not in the tally of the fallen, but in the ripples that followed these swift acts of retribution a tempest stirred not by numbers, but by the haunting aftermath. In a world yearning for justice post-Holocaust, the Dachau reprisals wove a complex web of moral quandary. The guards, orchestrators of unspeakable horrors, faced swift demise. 
Yet the question looms large. Was this an act of just retribution, or did it veer into the shadowy realms of vengeance? The flames of contention grew hotter with the revelation that in the aftermath, accountability evaded grasp. General Patton, Bavaria's military overseer, extinguished any charges tied to the reprisals, leaving a contentious void where questions of justice and retribution smoldered unchecked. Patton's choice, though perhaps shaded by the unveiled atrocities, etched a contentious precedent into history, a decision still sparking debate beneath the shadow of those dark times. The Dachau Massacre stands as a stark emblem of war's moral mazes. Liberation closed one chapter of darkness, yet the ensuing reprisals penned another, fraught with dilemmas of justice, vengeance, and the elusive quest for accountability, a narrative still unwinding in the shadow of conflict. This episode, emblematic of the World War II tapestry, thrusts us into the murky waters where right melds with wrong and justice dances with revenge, a haunting invitation to navigate the shadowy divides. It serves as a stark reminder that in our quest for justice, we must navigate with caution, lest we spiral into the very abyss of darkness we aim to vanquish. The Dachau Massacre echoes as a grim beacon, highlighting the terrors of conflict and the razor's edge that separates justice from vengeance.